This is John, and he works for the Finitrade Group. Finitrade is a leading distributor of raw and processed agri-commodities and consumer products in West Africa. Established in 1997, today the group consists of more than 1,600 employees and over 2,000 customers across eight countries. This is Finitrade's head office in Accra. It was built by the group's construction and property management division, Davenport Developers, who are responsible for all of Finitrade's offices, factories and warehouses. John is a driver for the group's logistics company, Freightlinks. He is directly involved on a daily basis in Finitrade's key business activity, distribution. Freightlinks Logistics has a dedicated clearing and forwarding division, as well as a large haulage fleet. John often drives a variety of vehicles, and today he is taking the truck to the port. Over the last decade, Finitrade has grown and expanded its product portfolio substantially. Besides agri-commodities, the group now also procures a complementary range of frozen foods packaged goods and fast-moving consumer goods from around the world and brings them to West Africa. The group's high-quality logistics infrastructure and fully integrated distribution network allows them to distribute goods more efficiently. Here, John is taking products from the port to one of Finitrade's warehouses. CCTC is Finitrade's bulk soft commodity division. This is their warehouse. Being pioneers in branding soft commodities in West Africa, CCTC has a strong presence across the Ghanaian landscape. The company boasts a storage capacity of over 80,000 metric tons, a dedicated team of over 80 employees, as well as strategic international partnerships. Finitrade's own brand, Rice Masters, has taken advantage of Africans' love of football to boost brand awareness by sponsoring Ghana's national football team, the Black Stars. This is something that John and his colleagues are extremely proud of, especially as Rice Masters is also the Finitrade football team's sponsor. Today, John is not transporting goods from the port to Finitrade's warehouses, but rather collecting items from a warehouse and delivering them to one of the group's key distributors. The group's entire supply chain is managed tightly through an enterprise resources planning system. Finitrade's FMCG company, Markets Direct, uses a specialized and highly successful route-to-market model. They distribute packaged foods, personal and household care items, non-alcoholic beverages, as well as alcoholic beverages such as Carlsberg beer. Frozen bulk commodities and frozen value-added products such as Sandra ice cream are distributed by Finitrade's frozen foods division, Sucatrade. Sucatrade's unique tailor-made sales solution gives them the advantage of developing the retail frozen foods market whilst capturing the active wholesale market. Recognizing the growing need for locally manufactured products due to rapid economic growth and growing consumer spending, Finitrade has invested in processing its own food and beverages. The advantages of the group's expertise in processing are mitigation against port congestion, high quality products and international brands at attractive prices and contribution towards West Africa's self-sufficiency. Privately and through joint ventures with international companies, the group is involved in the processing of pasta, soy-based beverages and juices, and alcoholic beverages. Finitrade distributes its products within port cities and to redistribution hubs inland, thereby reaching customers throughout the countries they are present in. The group has a physical presence in the coastal countries of Ghana, Togo, Benin, and Nigeria 
and its products are redistributed to Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. Through a widespread integrated distribution network across the West African region, the FINA Trade Group reaches over 2,000 customers across wholesale, retail, and horeca channels, as well as 200,000 farmers in remote areas. Today, John is taking a load of goods to a customer in a rural town where farmers will purchase the products. The group's success in this segment led to Aquafo Adamfo being the largest private cocoa procurement company in Ghana and the second largest overall. In addition, in 2010, the company leveraged its reach and procurement network and commenced procuring cashew nuts. Finna Trade's sustainability program considers all stakeholders in the value chain. The program offers smallholder farmers who Aquafu Adamfo purchases from access to knowledge, resources and markets. This includes credits, machinery, fertilizers, other agric inputs, training and benefit programs. These sustainability initiatives aid output and quality, as well as the traceability of the agri-commodities these farmers produce, which in turn makes the commodities more desirable to the international market. This is Nana. Nana is a student who has been doing an internship at one of Aquafo Adamfo's regional offices. John is giving him a lift back to his university in Accra. Nana is studying agriculture at the University of Ghana and the group's charity organization, the Finna Trade Foundation, is paying for his studies. This is just one of the ways in which Finna Trade is boosting interest and training in local agribusiness, which ties into the group's overall sustainability policy. The road has been full of challenges, but with the dedication and hard work of employees like John, Finna Trade is on its way to becoming the leading distributor of agri-commodities and consumer products by continuously distributing products that add value to the daily lives of the West African consumer.